I've been recently switching over my gasoline and gas and oil powered equipment over to electric and have purchased a number of Ego pieces of equipment. I have their snow blower, I've got the Nexus power station, I've got a leaf blower and a couple of other things. And I recently bought the 18 inch chainsaw and I was looking for a case for it. Ego makes a case, but it's out of stock. So I saw a YouTube video about a fellow who took a toolbox from Home Depot and modified it. And so I made this case and I'll explain what's in it in a little bit, but you'll see that the scabbard comes out the side here and inside I've got the chainsaw Although a battery can go underneath it, I don't have the battery underneath it at the moment. This is a five amp battery, and this is a seven and a half amp battery. I've got some bar and chain oil here and some gear lubrication, and there'll be a couple of other things like the gloves and things like a wedge and, and such. So let me empty this out and I'll be right back. So this is a 26 inch toolbox by Husky, sold at Home Depot. It sells for about $25. On this side here, I use the utility knife to cut out an opening for the scabbard. You'll see these rivets are used to hold various items inside. It has nice latches on it, supposed to be able to hold plenty of weight. So if we open this up on the inside, you'll see that I've used these pop rivets to put in some Velcro strips so I can hold things in place. Like this holds the back of the saw so the saw can't slip forward. I put a couple of what are called magic sliders. They're furniture sliders. I just wanted to get the bottom of the saw up off of the bed here so that if any of the bar oil does seep out, which is likely to happen as it does with most chainsaws, then the saw won't be sitting in the oil. <clears throat> and I also found on Thingiverse these wall brackets for Ego batteries. I 3D printed them and by using pop rivets I could just fasten them here. Uh, one trick for fastening them in place is to take some double-sided tape. I've got this 3M double-sided tape. I put it on the back of it, stuck it into position, then drilled the holes making it very easy to position. And I've got another one on this side. So let me show you how the whole thing goes together. So first things first, we take the saw, put the scabbard through the hole and just lock it in here. If I want, I can take a little bit of Velcro here and just keep the saw from sliding forward. Very simple. I prefer not to keep the battery in the saw, even though a battery can fit underneath here. We could actually fit three batteries in here, but I don't have a battery underneath here. But using this battery holder, I can take the battery, this is a five amp hour battery, and slip it in here. And I made it so that it's proud of the top. You see it actually sits above the top by a half inch or so. It just makes it easier to grab and also keeps it off the bottom. Similarly, there's room here for a seven and a half amp hour battery. It won't fit on this side, but it does fit over there. Or there's room to put a charger, just a regular Ego charger in here. Because of the height of the little magic sliders on the bottom, you wanna push the uh, handbrake forward so that it will close properly and not bump up against the top here. And finally, we've got the bar and chain oil that I've got rubber banded together. We can put down, down to the bottom and Velcro in place, just so it doesn't rattle around. And gloves and other safety equipment would go in here. Uh, maybe a wedge, maybe a small hatchet or something. But this is a pretty nice little kit. Again, if you don't have the charger in here, you could have a seven and a half amp battery, a five amp battery, and probably another five or seven and a half amp battery on the saw. And this would be a pretty good kit to go out into places where you don't have electricity. Nice metal latches. 
So it was a nice little project, inexpensive, using tools that I already have. The pop rivets are really handy. These are eighth inch pop rivets. I think these were three sixteenths pop rivets that were holding the wall brackets into place. But it's very neat and uh, nothing on this side. Just makes it nice and easy. And the scabbard's not gonna come out. The scabbard, as you see, come right up against the edge here, which was pretty convenient. And, and just a little bit below where it gets thicker on the bottom here. So it was very easy to cut out with a utility knife. So I hope this is useful for anybody else that's got a Ego chainsaw and uh, hope it gives you a couple of good ideas. Thanks for watching.